So do I look like a floating head? Yes. Ha! <laughs> Just tricked ya! I'm a full-bodied person. C7 Viper! <laughs>
packing slip and it tells me what's in it so I'm not gonna look. It is the price cheat sheet though so we're gonna need that in a little bit. First we have, this looks like an amped t-shirt in size S. <laughs> So she put her own size. This is a black amped airsoft t-shirt. This is camo form. It's like camo tape. It shows on the back, you wrapping a rifle, machete, binocular. So you can camouflage something that's not normally camouflaged. There's a patch. It's a mech Leia patch. There is an amped sticker and an amped sticker. And then we have this. This is the last item in the box. This is a Magpul DACA can. It's crush proof, dust proof, and weather resistant. It looks like it's just a can for your candy. There's a Reese's inside of it. <laughs> I'm guessing this is for you. Ugh. Do you think that's supposed to be in there? No. Or do they put that in there? They put that in there. You kidding? Do you think Magpul includes old Reese's? Is it Easter Reese's? Yeah. All right, it's not old. I don't think Magpul includes it, so I think Amped probably included it for you. I hope so. This is a neat little container. I guess it's for like on the go. You can put stuff in it. It's felt lined and it's got a ceiling lid with a steel hinge. So that's good for all your snacktacles, as you saw demonstrated by Amped. The patch is $14. The can was $20. The camo tape is 12 the shirt is 1589 and it's a grand total of about 62 dollars for our 50 dollars mystery box not bad i love the little personal touch of the candy hidden deep inside the mystery box 50 dollars is usually just some accessories um you're not likely to get a gun from a 50 dollars mystery box moving on to the 100 no dilly dallying i'm gonna kick down this door I'm gonna be a Sheriff Badge Unboxing Pro by the end of this. First we have Apple Fritter Customs Fur Hand Warmer Pouch in Tiger Stripe. It's literally made of fur on the inside and it's a hand warmer pouch. Look at all the fur. It's furry. This had a price tag of $48 on it. Patch knee pads, $27. They're OD green knee pads. Those are mine. I figured as much. So, Mrs. Viper's new knee pads. Then we've got a whole chest rig with a backpack? Yes it is. This is the Lancer Tactical QD chest rig lightweight backpack OD. It's got a molly panel on the front, a backpack with multiple zipper pockets on the back. I must have put green as the gear color for this box. You are able to select. So this is pretty neat gear. I like this. And that's not all. We've got a bag of BLS .28s. So we got a bag of BBs as well. And the paperwork states the knee pads are $25, the chest rig is $37, the hand warmer is $44, and the BBs are $13 for a total of $120. So that is a good 20% extra value on your mystery box. And it's all pretty useful. I've never had an airsoft hand warmer that wasn't like one of those throwaway ones. This hand warmer definitely will come in handy when we go to winter events. Ooh. I'm toasty. That's the $100 box. So now we've got ugh, $250. This is a small one for $250, but check it out. The heavy test shows that it is indeed heavy. And there's a cool feature they have on the website where when you are selecting your mystery box, anything above the $250 level, you have the option to select, yes, give me an airsoft gun, or no, it doesn't matter. That means that these will all mostly have airsoft guns, I hope. You clicked yes, right? Correct. She clicked yes. So for 250 what kind of airsoft gun do you think it is? I'm guessing a VSR-10. Yeah, and they folded it. It's the new pocket VSR-10. And it comes with paper. Oh, there's a lot to unpack. There's some good stuff in here. Share with the class, please. First, we have an amped braided line. Is that the one that literally just released? I think so. It is the, it's black and silver. It's Star Wars. It's BB Wars. It says BB Wars on it. Next we have a Darth Vader lightsaber patch. I'm sensing a, um, a theme. Next we have some BLS red tracers in the 2.5 variety. And this will go great with the Ace Tech Lighter R that is in here, which can support red tracers, red and green. I don't think I've ever used red tracers. This is gonna be fun. Next, we have this amazing thing, ginger candy. There is a small ginger candy at the bottom of the box. Then you... What? 
Should I just show you? Yeah. I don't know if you can handle it. There's multiple things left. Oh my gosh, come on. All right, here we go. The AAP-01. Are you all right over there? I might die. Yeah, she's speechless. What color is it? In black! With the threaded barrel, and it's got... Yup, it's got the rails in it too. We also have a Maple Leaf 70 degree bucking for pistols. We have a Cow Cow nozzle spring for the AAP-01. A Cow Cow guide rod set. And then down here we have an HPA valve for the AAP-01 to tap the mag. So you can directly tap your AAP-01 without having the primary adapter. So on our paperwork, she wrote, write us a poem. And they wrote, the grass is gray, the sky is gray. Everything is gray. I'm a dog. <laughs> and that's from Miko. Love it. Which type of gun do you use more? You wrote High Kappa. Guarantee a gun? Yes, I would like a pistol. What guns do you primarily run? Be very specific. And you wrote the CZP09 and an AAP01 with primary adapter. Any special requests? And you just slammed the keyboard with I, letters? I did because you had to fill it out. It says. Do do in Hashtag. And then there is a wow factor. <gasps> and it says, we didn't forget this time. And there's a link to a YouTube video. And it says, heart, Andrew, with a smiley sticker. And it says, John. We're going to have to check that out. This video is called, Bananas Go Bad So Fast. And it was uploaded one month ago. How do I even buy bananas? They just, they go bad so fast. Yeah! yeah. 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 That's enough of that. That's, that's, that's a lot. If you want to watch the rest of that, the link is in the description. We also just found out, newsflash, this special edition BB Wars line is available only for the week of May 4th, right now. I'm gonna bust it out. Look at it, it picks up all the light. Ooh, may the forks be with you. This entire box is mine. I figured. So far, uh, everything has been yours. That means that you're running out of claimability because you said 50-50 and we only have two boxes left and you claimed like the first three boxes. But you guys know what's mine is hers and what's hers is hers. Oh, I didn't even do the breakdown. We've got the Ace Tech Lighter R, which was $70. We've got the Maple Leaf Bucking, which was 10. The AAP-01, which was 100 on the dot. The BLS Tracers were $40. The valve for the AAP mag was 15. The lightsaber patch was 10. The cow cow guide rod set was 25. The cow cow nozzle spring was 650. The amp line premium weave dual QD was 45. And at the bottom of it, they left a comment that says, use the short stroke kit to really make this a Sith blaster. Happy May the 4th. And then it says, the ginger makes my tummy feel better if I eat it too much. He had too many Arby's. Yeah, it says, the ginger makes my tummy feel better if I eat too much, Andrew. So yeah, he must have went out for Arby's and had too much. We're getting a story. This is like an ongoing story of Amp's day. Too much Arby's, you have to have the ginger candy so that your tum tum feels better. This was a really well put together box because if you think about it, it's a Sith AAP because of the red BBs. So the grand total of this box was $320.69. Nice. Now we're getting into the big stuff, guys. I'm excited for these because this next one is the $500 mystery box from AMP. It's gonna be hard to top that last box. The AAP-01, which is sold out like everywhere. And it's a Sith themed AAP-01 box for May the 4th. Some attention to detail was taken when packing these boxes. Let's do this. So far, so good. We've got a whole bunch of paper. We've got some paperwork. And at the bottom, we did request something in this box. It says, please include a photo of your favorite character from The Office. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's Michael Scott and Dwight, and it says, my world is crumbling all around me. Okay, hot take. What, that's not a scene from The Office? That's not a direct scene? Starting off good. Let's put the papers down here. There's a patch, an Ewok, going <laughs> Then we've got, ooh, some stickers. 
some stickers. We got a couple amp stickers and a palm tree. You can relax under the palm tree with your amped order. A lipo battery. This is a good sign. It is the Elite Force 11-1 Triple Butterfly and it has Dean's connector already on it. We have a red blue dot reflex from Vism. We have a BCM M-Lock grip. The next couple things just have to come out all at once. You're gonna laugh. I am going to? Yeah. Oh no. Because we got the TK45! This is the KWA Ronin TK45. <gasps> it, ooh, it's the short tan version. Look at this cute little thing. It's the shorty in tan, two-tone looking color. I like it. And we got the mags for it. This is a three pack of the 120 round mid caps. I really do love the new flash hiders. These are like metal and they're kind of red, but they're also kind of orange. They're to the point where I don't even like want to take them off because they're not cheap plastic. They look really good. We've got a small stubby mag up in there. Rotary hop up. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is wired to the rear. Yes, wired to the rear with Dean's for that butterfly battery that we've got. This is a really nice CQB-esque. This is good for the town that we have at Viperville because it's got a little bit of the tan, a little bit of black, and probably throw off my enemies. Yeah, I can hide and you'll never see me. It's got flip up front and rear sights. Like I said, it's wired to Dean's the rear. You've got an M lock front rail, which this will go great on. We've got a red blue dot for the top. This is a very cohesive box and this is a, a really good win, not an M4 surprising. Inside we do have a few rail segments and a very large allen key and we have a decal from KWA. All right the grand total on this box we're gonna go ahead and itemize. The red dot was 68. The BCM grip was 19. The Burt patch was 15. The LiPo was 25. The mags were 47. And the Tekken TK45 C2 was 380. That leaves a grand total of Five, five, six. Nice. Again, I would say very cohesive box. That just leaves this thing. Big old flat one. What could be in a $1,000 mystery box that is this small? We didn't need tanks and regulators and all that, so we passed on that. There's a section that's like, hey, do you need this stuff? And we're like, no, we don't need that stuff. I mean, there's room for like a gun and then something else in here. Let's find out. My hopes are very high right now because everything else up until this point has been great. All right, thank you to Sheriff Candy for helping out. See you next year. Time to open this bad boy. It's time for me to see before you. I had a feeling it would be this. Paper. Yes, it's a box full to the tippy top of, oh. <laughs> In this comment section, Mrs. C7 Viper wanted to know, is it a bones or a no bones day? They circled bones and put a smiley sticker. It's a bones day, everyone. It's a bones day. On this one, you wrote anything HPA, please. Any rail system. Then you wrote preference M-Lock. Do you have any special requests? Do not need tank, line, regulator, not HPA Evo, because we already have one. And we didn't want to double up on the mystery boxes, so. Paperwork aside for the moment, we're gonna get into it because the first thing we have is a line. It is the Star Wars one that we already opened. This is the BB Wars. It's the shiny May the 4th limited line, only available for the week of May 4th. So go get it or don't. I don't. We got a pair of Magpul gloves. This is in L. This is my size, unless your hands grow very quickly. No. Nope. This is my gloves. I get one thing out of all these boxes. Mine. Thank you. The gloves are the best. Ah, gloves. We got another May the 4th Star Wars patch. We got a little amp patch. I don't have this one. <clears throat> nice. Then we have an Ace Tech Brighter CS. This supports green tracer BBs, which we have a bag of BLS green tracer BBs. This is a Bravo Airsoft Peck flashlight and green laser combo with pressure pad. You're darn right it is. It's a Peck box. Flashlight slash laser Peck box. That's good. This is going to be tactical when we're done because we've got the PTS angled grip. This is the Fortis Shift 
short angle. Okay, so it's a metal short angle grip. PTS ERS rail segment, M-lock rail segment. We have an Axion red, green, red, green, yellow. This is a red, green, yellow dot from Axion Optic. I'm gonna save the last few things. Show the big main thing. This is a Wolverine MTW. And to go with it, we have the Wolverine Inferno O-ring kit, a small 7.5-250 battery LiPo, and then first strike O-ring lube. And we gotta look at what we got because we know it's HPA. Obviously the boxes lead me to believe that. MTW quick start guide with an MTW patch. So we've got the MTW patch. We're gonna chuck that right behind us. Hope it stays. Yes, it did. It went that way. And here's the unveiling of the Wolverine MTW. Ooh, ah, it's a bunch of poison nerds in here. And we've got the nine millimeter mag. This is the ASG Scorpion Evo mag. So where you said not ASG Scorpion Evo, they did you one better. And this is so lightweight that I know for a fact I'm never gonna get to use this. You know what? I'll let you have the gloves. <laughs> Deal! <laughs> Everything else is mine. So this is the Wolverine MTW9. It does have this cool front flash hider that replaces the orange tip. It does come with the Scorpion Evo mid cap mag and like i said we have the small lipo battery for the buffer tube already we've got a full metal invictus rail with m-lock on it and that's going to work out great because we have that m-lock grip we have the m-lock rail segment for the pec box to fit on we have the red green yellow sight for the top this thing is going to be completely decked out it's going to look great by the time mrs viper hits the field with it this weekend because I sure as heck ain't gonna get to. All right, it took a few minutes and I made it look a little tacticooler. I like it, even with all this extra stuff I just put on it, it's still pretty darn light, but it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna get to use it. Mrs. Viper took it for herself already. But we still need the price breakdown of this box. So it's time for the paperwork. The Luke lightsaber patch was 10, the BLS 3-2 Bio Tracer BBs were $35.50. The Brighter CS Tracer unit was $75. The PTS rail section was $12. The PTS angled grip was $30. The PEC box was $63. The red, green, yellow sight was $50. The amped patch was $5. The first strike Hopperator Tears oil was $750. The Wolverine MTW9 was $800. The Amped Custom 74250 LiPo was $13. The Wolverine O-Ring Replacement Kit is $8. The Magpul Gloves were $50. This is the Jedi build. We hope you enjoy the new MTW9. It'll share mags with the Evo winky face emoji. I feel like I'm being trolled. <laughs> and this was all a grand total of $1,160.75. That is a great return on a $1,000 mystery box with free shipping. And I'd like to point out that every single one of these boxes had a theme. They call this the Jedi build, and then the AAP was the Sith build. So they really paid attention to our needs and requests. Obviously, Mrs. Viper didn't want another Scorpion Evo, so they gave her something better, something she hasn't had nor seen a Scorpion Evo Mag MTW. Ugh. All right, that's it. That's everything that you can get from the new and improved Amped Mystery Boxes. I'm impressed so far. I like everything. Maybe we'll check again in a few months and get one and see how they've improved even more. I really liked every single thing we got out of all this. Nothing seemed like junk and it all kind of went together in a cohesive unit to make a cool loadout. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item from all of this was. Mine was probably the gloves, because it's the only thing that's going to be my item. Just the gloves. <laughs> and then I guess we need Mrs. C7 Vipers questions and passwords corner to prove that you've watched all the way up until this point. And what is today's question? Since I asked Amped, I might as well ask you as well. What's for lunch? What is for lunch today? Let us know in the comments below, as well as your favorite box or item from this video. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to like it if we made you laugh, because I'll do it again. Find us on every single social, except eHarmony. And then, you guys can share in the gloves with me, because it is my only thing to offer. So, here, have some gloves. Uh. <laughs>
Hey, wait, can I have my gloves back now? It's like the only thing I own right now. Sure, give me all my stuff. Still not fair. 